Hello there and welcome back to another general reading. If you want to book a personal reading, please follow the description box below. You'll see my email and that is how we get you appointed. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to get into a general reading about what's going on with the divine masculine in this current energy. What the divine feminines need to know. Okay, let's see what spirit wants to share with us. Okay, thanks everyone for tuning in and let's see what's going on. All right, cards are pre-shuffled, we all know. And everyone, thank you so much for the likes, comments, and the subscribes. I am loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you, everyone, for being patient with your readings. I appreciate all the new clients. I really enjoy getting to know new people. I really do. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. And this current energy, first of all, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. We have transformation. We have the Two of Wands and the Death card. Wow. So lots of transformation going on. Transformation, 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 judgment at the bottom. So when you see transformation and also when you see judgment and, of course, the death card, they're one and the same. Um, you, you know that there's trial and error going on with this guy. So we could be this could, you know, talk about many things, talking and communicating with you, then withdrawing, you know, talking, communicating with others and then lying. He could be starting one job and then quitting and going to the next. He could be embarking in one relationship or a fling and then going to the next with this night energy, especially. But it looks like he's all kind of out of sorts with with what he wants to do physically on the three. 3D, as so many people like to refer to 3D and 5D. This looks like both. He's on a spiritual aspect and journey. He's in tune and in touch with his emotions, okay, and his journey. This looks like someone who's spiritual. This looks like um, someone who under, excuse me, <laughs> understands the 3D and the 5D and is learning how to correlate them to the two and work through it push through it no matter the pain no matter the heartache this divine masculine has been through quite some pain with you divine feminine and with the karmic if they you know if they're still in a relationship or not they've been through pain with both of you okay whereas the 5d would be the divine feminine the 3d would be the karmic you understand so but it looks like they're learning how to accommodate the two they're looking how to go it alone okay if they have an animal you know that they've been really um, attached to this animal or that's the only thing or person you know living thing that they kind of confide in right now um and their spiritual aspect some of them could be even more closer to their mother or father but as far as friends go as far as if they're in a relationship goes they're not they're they're very attentive okay but as far as being attentive they look like maybe this little girl they're always thinking about something next to do Okay, they look like they're trying to figure out their next move, okay, because whatever they just did within the past week, if that was communicate with you, da da da, and et cetera, you know, uh, embark in a job or they made a mistake, they, they learn, they know that now. So anything that they've done in this past week, sort of say, to try to narrow it down for you, is was a trial and error. Some things were right, some things were wrong, but it was all meant to be because now they're learning, okay, wait, that wasn't it, okay, but they're still on this path to, to, to succeeding with the knight of pentacles some of them could be in and out of jobs some of them could have just started a new job okay but the knight of pentacles talks about someone who's eager to get money i get that some of the divine feminines haven't always been up and eager to get money but right now with this spiritual journey with the 5d they're knowing that this is part of what they have to do in a journey it's never about just getting money you know on the 3d we can get overwhelmed and we can be like oh I'm just supposed to get money so that I can love him. It's that aspect that the 5D is trying to help you out while you're walking on the 3D. Okay, if you have an aspect of thinking that things are just material, that it doesn't benefit you, it only benefits someone, think about why people say love yourself because if you are supposed to love yourself, which is what he's on, you have to know the things that your body and your mind and soul require. And it's first off a... A, an effort so it looks like he's putting in effort places and he's easily going to be withdrawn for it if not money money will probably be the only thing right now that he won't let go of us so easily but even that is fickle um, because some of them could be having career some of them could be a boss some of them could be traveling for work but it looks like um, 
um, yeah, if they're traveling, they're traveling quite a lot. But it looks like in the workplace, they know that it's just work. They've come to terms with knowing that work is just work, but they have to do it. But it's not something that's going to feed their soul. Money is not something that they that their soul only requires. So they're thinking about that in a new aspect. They're thinking about that with some with some heavy with some light weight. You know what I mean? With some heavy weight though. Heavyweight champion. It looks like um some of them also feel like they're on their high horse horse about money. You know, that, um, yeah, that nobody's going to be able to tell them, oh, they can or they can't do this, that they can be this or can't be that, or they can't make this much amount of money. You know what I'm saying? But I think more so it's about them learning that material things aren't everything. Okay, they could be um, a Taurus, a fixed sign, but I'm getting an energy here of... If they're fixed or not, it's even better because I feel like they're coming from a fixed energy regardless. Taurus, they could have been a Scorpio or they could have been um, a Leo here. They're very fixed energies, but I'm looking at them like being like um, Virgo Capricorn, Cancer Pisces. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... Very, very eager, eager to change. So, you know, that's what it looks like. But let's look at the undermath. Let's look at, you know, what ain't always so pretty here, okay? Underneath all of this death and transformation. Because at the end of the day, with judgment at the bottom of the deck, they know they're going to be judged for their actions. We also have the Six of Pentacles, charity work. We have the Temperance card, balance and knowing what to do at the right times kind of thing. Knowing how to stand your ground, um... Be more mature, knowing that your time is coming, but right now work is needing to be put in as there's a lot of people back there just kind of, you know, talking, just a bunch of people her or his own age being able to go to the club tonight or being able to, but they've got to study because they're realizing what it's like on the 3D that maybe both don't correlate. You know, the 5D and the 3D, a lot of people are talking about and focusing on the 5D, which is a more spiritual aspect, is where your spirit guides are in the, it's where your spirit guides realm where they hover so it has to be in correspondence and he's learning how to correspond these acts and he knows that he's going to be judged by it so it's safe to say yes your divine masculine is learning um temperance you know he's learning how to how to work for a purpose and a cause okay all right and and he's working towards the right purpose and right cause let's clarify this knight of pentacles for the divine masculine why is the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Talk to us about this Knight of Pentacles. All right, we got something. We got the Eight of Pentacles. More Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy for him setting out on new journeys. And, and when I did say, you know, that he's setting out, he's here and he's there within money especially and not just people's lives, he's, he's finding out that he could, okay, for an example, some of them could have gone back to an old ex or a, a karmic partner if they're with one, another karmic, you know, um, and they're going back to just be like, oh, wow, that was true. So a lot of them are having a lot of dreams. They're very vivid. And, and Divine Feminines, you could be having weird dreams. If you're having weird dreams, if they include some of their family members that you may or may have not ever met, family members that, they, that have passed on their end, you know, if you're having dreams about, like, what's going on with someone else, you're looking in a different tense, it's because they're having really intense dreams. Okay, but with the Knight of Pentacles, I like to know that because they're still a knight in whatever they're doing, they're going back to people to be like, oh, that's that's definitely not what I thought at all. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on there. And with the Eight of Pentacles, he's working hard. Some people, some people may be like, you just literally came to get your nut off or you literally just came to talk to me to tell me that I've been waiting for so long and that's what you had to tell me. You know, some people are feeling like that, but don't think he's writing you off just yet. But there is here death and transformation of being cut off. And I think some of you don't take him seriously. Some people that may have happened to, um, look, He's working hard. He's mastering his skills. He's like, oh, okay, that's what was going on. He goes right back to the drawing board so he can cross that out. Okay, that wasn't this. That wasn't that. You know, he's trying to get to his sole purpose now. He's trying to make his way to the divine feminine and cut out all unnecessary drama. But he might not let you know. He's just someone who's on a journey and on a path. He's someone who's um, very convicted about what he's doing. Okay, if he's like coming, you know what I mean? So, But this is what he's really doing. This is what, sorry about that. Oh, gosh. This is what he's really doing, okay? He's going back home. He's going back where he needs to go in silence and in peace. Like I said, this all looks alone. So a lot of them aren't with the karmic partner because a lot of them already realize that they are karmic partners. Do you understand? So the karmic partner could be going through that and 
it, it's not pretty here from the Knight of Pentacles to this transformation card. But um, uh, this is what he's doing. He's mastering those skills. He's not procrastinating. He's not taking his time. Look at the hanged man at the bottom. Okay, anyone around him, anyone, he doesn't care what he looks like. It's not that he's coming around trying to be rude, but he's really trying to finally get his act together. Okay, can we, can we say hallelujah? So the hanged man is talking about letting the intuitive messages flow because one about the 3d one about the 5d you know i always say this guy's quirky if you've ever seen zoolander he's owen wilson at the bottom you know hanging out with all those metrosexuals and all those pansexual just all kind of people hippies you know what i'm saying this is because you're so in tune to your 5d that while you're walking and you're a servant of your spiritual um divine your god okay you're a servant it doesn't matter how you look to other people this person goes the lengths to what they have to do don't hurt nobody you're very pleasant you know to figure out what it is that the divine is saying so it's safe to say that when he's in and out he may not be all there you know he may be listening and just having it but he has his own thing going on and he's trying to figure out who's going to be the last one standing okay let's clarify this transformation card for the divine masculine transformation for the divine masculine why is transformation okay the ten of cups Okay, for transformation, he wants this Ten of Cups. He wants to see who's the last one standing. I get a feeling that, you know, he hasn't been, he's, he hasn't been able to be that happy with somebody and have harmony with someone and peace and joy and love at its most pure form. Making babies because you love someone, not because you feel like you owe it to them. Okay, he's trying to, I feel like some of them have done this where they've gotten pregnant or they got married just out of guilt just out of feeling that's what their transformation really required so some of them are having to withdraw that as well some of them are having to go back you know and hang out with their wife it doesn't look fake he's like you know what i love my family how can i not love my own child my own kin but it's like you know what i gotta transform i gotta change this way of believing that i need to pop children out or get married and do things in my life that are going to lead me in a whole nother direction you know just because i think that's my purpose sometimes you miss the fate that you were intended to is why you relive it and relive it in multiple lives because you never got to that point you never are getting to the part that's supposed to happen do you understand but i think the other beauty about this is that he wants this some of them may not have family and kids you know what i'm saying and if they do it still it still applies to what i'm about to say i think here first of all with this transformation card Without it being your own person to defy you, this person's like covering their mouth, like going like, go on, you know, it's like they're touching the back of their neck. It's someone who's going to miss them. It's someone who's, uh, it's another half of them. It's another physical person that's going to miss them because they are just going to be shining so bright, shining so bright like a diamond. This person also has their, their mouth covered. This is an old life of his. This was an old life of his. If they don't have kids, it was an old expectation of what it was supposed to look like. When he's going out cutting the bullshit and the people that really don't belong, you know what I mean? Because he's ruling what he's realizing what was good and what's not. He's listening listening to his 5d while he works on the 3d it has to be in correspondence you know it's like what's faith without deeds how can you say you love god some people say if you don't know him how you you know so they're figuring out and they're learning what love is they really really want that ten of cups so some of them may be really in and out of your life right now because they're really trying to figure it out they're really trying to figure out like okay what's necessary and what's not that's the that's the moment they're in let's clarify this two of wands Divine Masculine, why is the Two of Wands here? Spirit, okay, what do we got? The Two of Cups. More more love energy. He wants the love, he wants the harmony, he wants, he pictures himself watching over the woman that, that he is going to be in love with, that he sees the real true love with, you understand? Joining families, if may be that. This is optimism, this is adventure, this is fire and passion. I can be who, who I want to be if I work hard in it. I'll be where I want to be. Like, he's like, man, I'm working towards this. Oh, I'm getting the chills. It feels great. Look, he's, man, and he's having nightmares and dreams and visions and thinking with this nine of, with this nine of swords here. Paranoia. How do I do that? How do I get to the divine feminine? I feel like now he's thinking of someone in specific. There's no way you're so motivated about something about and about someone you don't know. Okay, I can understand the motivation when you're looking at those kids. Look at the six of swords again. He could be an air sign who's thinking all about you. Got you up in his head. This, this fire, water, air, earth. Okay, about what he wants to do with you. 
about who he wants to be with you. Some of them could be hanging out with you, communicating with you, asking you to go on dates. Okay, they're asking you because they want to. They want to be able to see it and and envision in real. Because